Hello YouTubers, this is Louise from Onsite Towing and Recovery in Middletown, New York. One of my biggest pet peeves is seeing tow trucks going down the road with the vehicles improperly strapped. It's not only a safety issue, but it's a, it's a bad image for the towing industry, and it's also illegal. Federal motor carrier requires that a vehicle being transported on the flatbed have four points of tie-down, and that is four points of tie-down that are adjustable. So for those of you that are running straps on the front of the vehicle and chains crossed on the back, that technically is illegal because the chains are not adjustable. So four points of tie down are a must. Here in New York State, if you have a vehicle that's improperly strapped down, it is an out of service. Out of service means you ain't gonna be generating much money. So I hope this video helps someone out there that doesn't know any better and has been taught incorrectly on how to tie a vehicle down. And like I said, this is just for educational purposes. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. All right. Thank you. All right, YouTubers. Our first tie-down method is going to be the eight-point tie-down system. These are new straps. We ended up picking them up at uh, BearMotion.com. So if you need any towing equipment, BearMotion.com. Great pricing, great service. But anyways, this is my tie-down of choice. It's quick and it's easy to use once you get familiar with the system. If you're dealing with a lot of German cars and stuff, they don't really have a lot of hook points underneath. This system goes right over the tire. It is my most used system. We do keep clusters, mini J's, and all that stuff in the toolboxes, but this is my system of choice when we can use them. I think I use these about 90% of the time. All right, so we're gonna demonstrate on how quick this system is here and why I like it. Uh, we're only going to do one tire um, just because I don't want to bore you using it to death. But you can see, pretty much just like any other strap, you get your slack. Take your slack out. I'm going to keep this at about there. I like to tie my excess slack out of the way and that's pretty much it you know there's none of this feeling around feeling for a slot or anything very very simple you can't really screw up with this system and that's why I like it the next system we're gonna cover is the traditional mini J's with the R hook and so and so on and so forth all right All right, the next tie-down method, we're going to use the traditional uh, cluster hook with the mini J, T-hook, and our R-hook, which 90% of people don't know how to use. We'll make another video for that one. All right, this is going to be a quick demonstration on the mini J's uh, to each his own. Some people like this setup. I don't mind it either, but I prefer the eight-point tie-down just because I find it to be quicker and easier. Um, so you know you're gonna you're gonna feel around underneath the car. Make sure that wherever you're hooking, it's a double wall slot and not a single wall because you can tear it. And undercarriage damage is a big deal. Um, it's I don't know if some of you see how I'm running the strap around the tire. That is actually a Wreckmaster approved way. I like to do it this way because then I don't have to throw the hook underneath the vehicle. And of course we'll do that on all four corners. And we'll even show you where I got it hooked. You can see the, the hook slot there. And those are two of the most common tie-down methods. See how I got it around the tire? When I first started in the business, I would actually throw it right down. You know, but that's just an added step. There's nothing wrong with that. 